Okay, on my site I decided to create a second gallery. The last gallery we created, the last gallery created my gallery linked to my Picasa account and it's my public photo gallery account at Picasa. Alright, so I could take you, here's my Picasa web albums account right here, right? And on your web albums account in Picasa, you have um, the ability to create galleries, right? Or um, basically albums, they call them albums, right? So I can create, under my photos, albums, and these albums can be locked, making them not public, or they can be unlocked and then public. So this is a public gallery, and this is a public gallery, and this one with the fishing outfits, this is a public gallery, it's unlocked. So then when I linked to it from my um, Morpheo Show gallery and linked it to a Picasso gallery, it shows my public galleries here through Morpheo Show, and that's pretty cool. But what I decided to do is I also decided to build a second gallery, I called it Gallery 2, and this one is one that is pretty cool. I modeled it off my home site where I decided to do a second gallery and this gallery is a flash simple viewer gallery also done with Morpheo Show. So this is kind of the way it looks. It's pretty pretty sexy right there. I like that, right? So on my home site, right, this is my home page for my home site you can see that I have a couple of galleries and one of them links to my Picasso account and the other one links to my um, Flash Simple Viewer account with images that you have to upload to your website. So while that's loading, I show you I did that here too. So Gallery 2, if you click on it, it links to a Flash Simple Viewer site. And in this case, the thumbnails are here at the bottom, right? But they could easily be on the right also. So I've got another menu link here just for this gallery, just for gallery two. I'll show you how to do that. Or and this is my gallery, and my gallery links to the overall all of the galleries that are listed in Morpheo Show. So in Morpheo Show, you can create multiple galleries. And so I'm going to show you a couple of configurations on that. You recall that when we made this menu item, right, we went to menu, main menu and we hit new and you have a choice of Morpheo show and you have a, a choice of how many galleries you want to link to so let's see here so he said new menu try that again and there's Morpheo show right and you should have a choice of whether you want to link to one gallery or multiple galleries this one will just link to all of the galleries, right? We did that, and the result was, I cancel, the result was this link right here, my gallery, which takes you and it'll show you every gallery that you have here. Well, one thing that's annoying is this little elephant, and the logo is really cool, but you probably don't want it to show up on your page. So I'm going to show you how to get rid of that right now. So, components, Morpheo show, configuration, right? And if you go down, and you're on settings essentially here, right? And you go to layout front end, you can click classic front end list, columns, number of columns, thumbs width, and classic list logo, there's your logo, and you can say hide logo, right? And so now I'll click save, right? And now if I refresh my front end of my website, the logo is gone. So that's cool. Notice there's the classic list, right? But there's other ways you could do it. You could go to settings again. I'm in the component. Layout front end list and you could try some of these other ones like uh, flash front end list. So I try that and hit save and then refresh over here and you see there's you know a different type of list here, right? You can see it's got a different way of organizing the galleries, right? And I'm not sure if I care for that. So I can go back to settings and put it layout front end list, put it to classic front end list and hit save. 
So I want to show you a couple other ways of doing some menu items that are pretty cool. All right. So first of all, if you wanted to create another gallery, you say new gallery. I'm going to call this gallery three, right? And then I'll choose the type. Now the one I was using in there is called Flash Simple Viewer. So I'll pick Flash Simple Viewer. I can find a thumbnail for it if I want, right? Published, yes. I'm going to give it a description. I'll call it Gallery 3, right? There's some simple viewer settings here too, which you might want to modify or see if they affect it. I, I didn't change it. So Gallery 3, right? And I hit Save, right? So now I've got Gallery 3 here. This is the one in the middle. And you can see the format. It's also a Flash Simple Viewer. Now all I need to do is upload images to the gallery. So I click here and I said Upload. Browse for the images, right? And I've got some art here. This time I'll do um, a painting or something like that, right? Let's see here. I've got a painting. And title it. And I'll call it JDF because that's the name of the painting and hit save right and then I'll get another painting right and um, this one's called haunting so I'll just double click on that and hit give it a title haunting and you could say you could give it a description here creator web link there's a bunch of things you can add to it if you want to and just hit save right and now that's done right so now if I hit manage galleries on gallery 3 I can upload more images by here I can manage my images here meaning edit delete images right if I put this in into an article in between uh, curly braces I can have the gallery show up in an article right right in the middle of an article if I want to create a menu item just for this gallery, I click this button right here. So I'll click that, and I say I want to make a main menu item gallery for this. So I click Main Menu, right? Click Go, right? And now it's created a menu item for that gallery, Gallery 3. So if I go to Menus, Main Menu, and I scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see Gallery 3 is there, right? And Instead of linking to all of my galleries, I'll go back to my home page. You'll see that now, if I wanted to, I can have a link just to that one gallery, right? And there it is. Now, the image is not showing up too well because this image is, I think, too big. So it didn't know what to do with the big image, right? It didn't fit in well, right? But on this other one, I have to figure out the sizing for this or the the image is too small to show up well so I might need to get some different images but look gallery 2 there's the image and the thumbnails on the bottom right and the size is correct it's got a good size right so gallery 2 and 3 link to individual galleries whereas my gallery if you click on that there's my gallery with the thumbnail and then gallery 2 with no thumbnail gallery 3 no thumbnail so that's how you would do multiple galleries and show all of your galleries or make menu items for individual galleries. And they've got Morpheo Show has plenty of plugins to play with to make it work. Now, if I want to redo this, all I have to do is change the images and it'll probably get a better result. But anyway, that's it for Morpheo Show.